The purpose of this video is to give directors and staff members an overview of the interface and information inside of UDB app. When you open a song, you are immediately presented with the drill chart. You can move around the chart by dragging your finger or even pinching to zoom in and out. It functions much like a picture does on your phone. By default, this drill chart is shown from the director's perspective. This means that the front sideline is at the bottom of the screen. The top bar is called the information bar. This contains all glanceable information that you need while learning and cleaning drill. In the top left corner is the page or set number. Next to that is the counts for that set. You can also tap on counts to see the measure numbers. On the right side of the screen are the controls. You'll see a play button, a plus and minus button, a page and counts mode toggle, and the info button. When you tap play, the animation will start. If there is synced music, you'll hear that as well. This animation is 100% smooth and exactly what the drill writer exported to the app. To stop the animation, tap the pause button. When you do this, you are automatically brought into counts mode. This means that if you tap the plus and minus buttons, you'll move through the drill count by count. If you want to go back to page mode, tap the P below the minus button. This means that when you tap plus or minus, you are now moving through the drill page by page. At any time, you can tap on a performer to see the same information that they'll see. You'll notice that their spot is highlighted and more information shows up in the top bar. You'll see X counts, which stands for yard line crossing counts, and their coordinate. You can also tap on X counts to see their calculated step size for that set. If you tap on the coordinate, you'll get a full info sheet drop down. You can even switch the information in this view by tapping measure numbers or X counts at the top. You can also tap on any page to navigate to that spot in the drill. To close the sheet, tap the coordinate at the top of the screen. Looking back at the drill chart, you'll notice that the performer you selected is connected to two lines. These lines designate the pathway. The red box is their previous set, the red line is the exact pathway that they take to get to their current set, and the green line and circle show you how they get to the next set. If you jump back into counts mode by pressing the C below the minus button, you can tap through count by count and you'll notice how the performer moves along the path. This is especially helpful when breaking down complicated drill moves. You'll also notice in counts mode that the coordinate in the information bar has turned yellow. That is giving you a live updating coordinate for every count of the drill for that performer. You can tap through it to easily find a specific count or even tap the coordinate to reveal a coordinate sheet for every count of that set. To deselect a performer, tap on an empty spot on the field. Now let's take a look at the info button. When you tap that button, you are brought into the global notes of the drill. These notes come directly from the drill designer and are attached to each page. You'll notice that the info bar stays at the top for reference and you can move through the drill like normal. You also have a place to take personal notes inside of UDB app. If you tap the icon above the plus button, you are given a blank canvas for your notes. You can toggle back to global notes by tapping that button again. To get back to the drill, tap the button in the bottom right corner. At any time, you can tap the logo in the top right corner of the screen to reveal the secondary menu. Here, you are presented with custom view options, settings, and a home button. Tapping the home button takes you back to the main screen of UDB app, and tapping the gear icon takes you into the settings. Tapping a custom view icon creates a new custom view. All of these secondary menu items are covered in separate videos. The last part of the interface to access is sheet music. Press and hold on the info button in the bottom right corner of the screen. When the new selection menu appears, tap the music icon. This replaces the quick toggle in that bottom corner. Now you can tap on the music icon and it brings you into the sheet music. Much like the notes, the information bar and controls are still available for you to reference and use. To get back to the drill, tap the UDB pathway button in the bottom right hand corner. You can always press and hold on the quick toggle to bring back the info button. In another set of videos, you'll learn about all of the settings, custom views, how to take notes, and how to sync your sheet music.